Garl is dying. He has one day left, and with that, he's going to help us ascend to people that apparently will give us permission to cross the Sea of Stars. Whatever that is, I think it's the name of the game, though. Welcome back to yet another episode of Sea of Stars right here on Missledyne Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on yet another episode. The last episode was just absolutely bonkers and sad, and but like, Garl's still with us, so maybe it's okay. And in this episode, we are going to head to the Skyward Shrine and see what awaits us now that both Valir and Zael have seemingly done what they were prophesized to do. And my dear viewers, while we could backtrack and see what is to find here on the map, I think we have a limited amount of time. Things are serious. Garl's in trouble. He has the flask of borrowed time. Let's use the Skyward Shrine and see what awaits us in today's episode. Nothing we can grab. Let's go ahead. That tickled. Did it work? Sure did. This is definitely the place. Let's go. Well, my friends, when Garl said way up, he was not joking. He indeed meant we're in the sky right now by the looks of things. And I wonder if every island in this world was at one point in the sky. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, it looks like Chrono Trigger, y'all. Uh, when you go into the, the cloud. Oh, no spoilers for Chrono Trigger, but whoa. Skybound Lagoon. Well, we got a fish first. I don't listen. I know the, you know, we're uh, we're trying to save our best friend, girl. But like, listen, we got new fish. I'm sure to catch here in the sky. Two new fish. We gotta, we gotta get some fish. And it looks like the first one's gonna be real easy. We get, ooh, like a sea urchin thing. A sky urchin. We'll go ahead and fillet that. And let's go ahead and get our next one. There we go. And good thing we got all those real upgrades because we're able to get a cloud skate. Nice. And that is all of the fish that we can get here. Look at that. We're, we're so, we're so awesome. Well, why don't we leave? Oh my God. I love the, the texture on these rocks and stuff. Y'all, I am, I'm so nervous for Garl. Tr really? But like, it just doesn't feel like he's actually, you know what I mean? I don't think they're gonna do it. Cloud Kingdom, it looks like. What's over here though? Cloud Kingdom, that's amazing. The Air Elemental Skyland. This one looks a little bit smaller. Oh, locked gate though. Looks like we can't access this just yet, which means we're going to Cloud Kingdom. Whoa, who would have thought, huh? You know what it is you seek out here? An audience. What? There's a council th thing, I think. Let's look around. Cloud Kingdom. Oh my gosh, y'all. The music's so good. This is beautiful up here. I, you know, I honestly, last episode, I was like, this feels very end gamey. Like, I almost thought maybe, whoa, what? Wait a minute. Small visitors, did the one amend the connection at last? Um, uh, uh, it's, what is this? Whoa. How did you guys get up here? What are you doing? 
how did you? What? How? All right. Well, we'll give Yolanda the music sheets we have. What is that? What? If you need to rest, I have a small corner for visitors your size. No, no thanks. Don't be a stranger now. Well, we do have an item we can grab, which is another question pack. Question pack six and more importantly, friends, wheels. Want to play some wheels? Champion game, let's go. Y'all, what is, what is happening? They're, so they're all, they're sky giants? Are those what the statues are? I, oh my God, y'all, I'm just... Uh, there, we're going against an engineer and a mage. So why don't we try going for a priest and a, let's go for a priest and a mage ourselves, uh, instead of an engineer and a mage and see if we are able to do anything here. Could build a barricade, but I think that's okay. We'll focus on, it looks like we're, we got some good rolls there for the mage. So I'm not mad about that. Oh, and the mage already getting a turn. Look at that. That is going to be four damage to the face, meaning it only has six health left right out of the gate like that. That's what we need, though. If we can get, like, a couple big ones, you know, we'll be just fine. Get a little bit of progress here on our priest, just so that they can heal. And you actually don't need to take damage before being able to use the priest. Look at that. We'll grab all of those. And hopefully we can get the mage to get promoted. And then we're going to be able, they're gonna get a barricade up, but that's actually okay because we're going to attack, take down that barricade and then do three damage to face. And we just need to be able to do three more damage and we'll win this thing. This was pretty much all RNG at this point. We're gonna not worry about our barricade. Uh, let's go ahead and grab these two and hope that we get a third square. Oh, we definitely got a third square, all right. All right, go ahead, mate, uh, priest. All right, so they got a promotion, but we'll be able to go as our priest can go, meaning we'll be able to heal and reduce the time on our mage to go again, and we also promoted, so they're gonna build a little bit of a barricade and then hit us for two damage. As long as we get to go, we will win this. Actually, I probably could have won that just by hoping that the mage got a turn. And this should be it as long as we all right, so we're going to take down their barricade just a little bit and then three damage and there we go. We win. Good job. I, I don't, I think you can win with, honestly, I think you could use the archer and the mage and be fine. Hey, you won. Congratulations. Here's your prize. We got a diamond wheel. All right, dude. That means that we have, I mean, that's gotta be one of the best, a level four wheel. I wonder if that was the last, the last champion we could fight here. Hmm. All right, well, let's go ahead and leave. What is, what is going, they're giant. They, so they can't move either. Hello? Little ones. Are you going to meet the council? If so, I wish you luck. They can be very difficult. Oh, all right. Oh, there's another one over. Oh, oh, they opened the way for us. All right, what does this lead? Another item though, I'll take that. Oh my God, it's a giant hammer. We found true silver daggers for Sarai. Why do I feel like Sarai has been getting a ton of weapons? Stolen from pirates of old. Plus seven attack, plus five magic attack. Let's go. Screw the shroomy shrimps. I just feel like she's been getting so much. Is this an item shop? Oh my God, this giant is gonna sell us stuff. Hello down there. I'm the local craftsman. Some of the smaller jewels I create should be just your size. Want to take a look? Oh my gosh. We get a cloud sword, plus seven, plus seven physical attack, plus five magic attack for our boy Zale. Obviously we're gonna buy that. We can also get uh, a recipe for peach strudel, which we need to grab and a music sheet number six. Well, we got some stuff to sell then. All right, let's buy the peach strudel, the music sheet, and we should have just enough. Look at that for the cloud sword. Yeah, dude. And obviously we're going to equip that right away and we'll keep the bamboo slicer. 
Although we don't really have to, we could sell that, but... Dang! Sounds famous. The Cloud Sword? Hmm, I wonder. I, I, I wonder, game. You're a great, you're a great game. All right, well, that's all we can get from them, so... Oh my gosh, but wait a minute. Let's go ahead and go back to the inn so we can drop off that music sheet with Yolanda right away. For some weird reason, they're here. Don't know how, but... Also, I'm curious about... Okay, let's stay the night. Oh, look at that! Rainbow conch. That is sneaky. I wonder if... Because I don't really rest at inns that often. I wonder if that is... I mean, it was free, right? So might as well. My power's growing. Do you feel it too? Yeah, dude. It'll take some convincing, but I have an idea. All right, now we're good. Now we're good. We'll head this way. Thank you. That's so nice of them to... Oh, they stepped on Rashawn, but that's okay. I can see you. Don't worry. Thank you. That is so cool. Where does that lead? Oh, another chest. Watch it have a cloud sword. Cloudy shard. Not a cloud. Oh, they have Hermes feet. Oh my god, you're you're a transport. We need the we need the name. Whoa, dude. Well, okay, wait a minute. We have to we have to go wait. Now we gotta go all the way back. I need to talk to Teeks. New story unlocked. Kukar the Unyielding. Hey, it's about interesting. It's about our guy, our friend from Mesa Island. Of the many events from the time of the Avotes, many consider the foundation of the Kingdom in the Clouds to be the most significant. It was back in the early days, when the world was still being shaped. Once they had completed the islands, they started working on the travel golems. The Avotes first built Yeet and Extol, and rejoiced at the ease with which they could activate them using power words. But for Mesa Island, something more was needed. A sentient golem, one that would not simply obey commands, but carry purpose. The reason was that this specific island was at sea level, but as the Avotes had seen in their dreams, it needed to be propped up way higher. Indeed, in the future there would be a great flood, and for this world to survive, Mesa Island would have to remain above water. Although that future was a very distant one, the Avotes remained as selfless as ever in their dedication to harmony and balance. Thus, they built Kukar, but alas, found themselves unable to give it sentience. Ever embracing the flow of things, the Avotes held firm to the belief that their part in saving Mesa Island had been played. They moved on to completing the vision they had seen in a shared dream, and from the essence of the very clouds, conjured the Sky Giants. There would come a time when the Avotes would go extinct and it would fall to the Sky Giants to keep watch. They would be tasked with establishing a council in the clouds to oversee three very important things. First of which was to keep watch over the elements. While the flood was unavoidable, maintaining balance would remain a challenge unless new Avotes arose. Secondly, they would be the gatekeepers of the Sea of Stars, carefully vetting those who would seek to travel between worlds. Lastly, there was the matter of Kukar remained incomplete, and so they would need to be on the lookout for a wielder of magic potent enough to make the construct sentient. In the end, it was the Great Eagle who helped them in this. Nowadays, few are aware of Kukar's purpose, most believing it to be nothing more than an impressive feat of masonry. And even from a prophetic standpoint, there is no real way to know whether it will withstand the coming flood. But until then, Kukar's role would remain a passive one. Holding on with an ever-firm grip, it would stand tall, inspiring mortals as a testament to stoicism and true dedication. One need only lay eyes upon the construct once to understand where it got its title of Kukar, the Unyielding. The End. Okay, so we just found out about the Avotes that were apparently... But the Great... So who was first? The Avot... So it maybe Rashawn is an Avote? Avot... Avotes? Av Av Ovates? Ovates? Ovotes? <laughs> Listen, I don't know what I don't know what that word is. I've never seen that word. I don't know that word. Interesting. 
I love, I love the little animation of them picking up their feet to let us through. This is, that is, oh my god, this game just gets, whoa! Oh my gosh. Who demands audience? Present yourself. I am the one demanding audience. We can hear you just fine. No need to shout. Oops. Name? Carl. Title? What? Title. His title is Warrior Cook. It is our understanding that you are on borrowed time. I am, and I have a request. Then speak. It's for my friends here. I want you to grant them access to the Sea of Stars. Huh? Do you understand what you are asking of us? Absolutely. And who will vouch for you? Vouch? I don't know. I thought we could just... I will. Oh. Great Eagle, you honor us with your presence. Tell us then, do they possess the key? Yes, they have reclaimed the Vespertine. Do they possess the strength? Yes. Solon and Luana have awoken. Their wish is to accept this final gift from their friend and complete their journey. Do they possess the will? Sarai? Hmm. How did she get here? Determination. Or is she here? We deem this group of travelers satisfactory. This leaves only the matter of the deed. What does the warrior cook intend to offer in exchange for his friend's passage? I hope you have a plan. Well, what do you propose? I will wake the sleeper. You would bring total destruction to this world. What makes you believe we would accept such a proposition? Don't worry, I'll make it friendly again. The Elder Miss once told me that I might soothe a long tormented soul. This is what he meant, I'm certain of it. Who he thinks that's him? Huh? That is a tall order. What is your plan? The runes in the moorlands. I wasn't sure at first, but now I know what they meant. There are no more ovates. How then? I will complete the ritual of the elements by cooking with them. Impossible. If you want to go, Barb. We agree to entertain your plan. How will you use water? Magic dew to instantly grow the cops crops I'll need. Sea monsters are extinct. Magic dew will not manifest without an enchanted scale. Don't worry, I know just the place to find one. How about fire, then? Uh, natural heat from the volcano without a name. Preposterous. The lava monster would kill you instantly. It's okay. My friends are pretty strong. Earth. The volcano will be terraformed by magic, so I can use its summit as a giant oven to bake my creation. And I suppose you know just the wizard? Sure do. And that volcano will finally have a name. Kiln Mountain. Don't push your luck, kid. We like the name. That leaves the final element. How does wind come into play? We will capture Zephyr in a bottle. 
When my creation's complete, I will let it carry the scent to the sleeper's nostrils. Why do you require a volcano-sized oven? Because I will bake the biggest loaf of bread the world has ever seen. <laughs> oh, there's a big loaf. What makes you believe that it will be enough to make the sleeper friendly again? Oh, uh, come on! No one can be grumpy when they wake up to the smell of freshly baked bread. Oh, he's right. Bread's a little good. Uh, I like bread quite a bit. Yeah, he's right. We find no valid counter-argument. If you can truly soothe the sleeper, we will grant your friends access to the Sea of Stars. The volcano is now open. You will also need this. And we get the wind key, whatever that is. Right on. Great job up there, Garl. Yeah, that went well. I have never seen the council so easily swayed. Okay, let's go back and plan this whole thing. What, what? Hello. Uh, also, do you notice that this, I don't know, Titan dude? Has like a swirl in his chest. Like, what is going on? This is so cool. Oh, there's a rainbow conch here. Oh, I didn't even notice that one. That uh, brings our total to, I believe, 47. I almost missed that. I didn't even see it. All right. Well, we have a wind key, so. Hey, what's your name? Hooty. Why do you ask? Great, one sec. All right, I don't have a lot of time, so we should split up. What? I'm staying with you. There's no time, just trust me, okay? I'm in charge of Earth anyway. No danger on my path. And where is that? Remember Malkamud? He promised he would come around if a good deed demanded his magic. You think he can terraform a volcano? Yep, plus the design I have in mind is pretty straightforward. Anyway, Zale, you're in charge of air. West of here is a skyland you can access using the wind key they gave us. Find Zephyr and bottle it up. Consider it done. Valir, you've got fire. Go through the volcano and defeat the lava monster. Then we can redirect the heat and terraform the summit into a giant kiln. Got it. Sarai, that leaves water. After dropping Valir off at the volcano, get Hortense to take you back to the Sea of Nightmare. But please don't kill Hydra Lion. We only need one scale. Okay. Once you have the scale, just take it to Teeks and Mirth. The villagers will come together to grow and harvest the crops. Get as much as you can on the Vespertine and meet us at the volcano. Well, I'll be killing Mountain by then, I guess. Understood. So, first, those who will use the boat. Valir and Sarai, please stand in front of Punti here. What about me? Oh, I... Well, I assumed you weren't allowed to help. This matter isn't related to a dweller. I'm free to choose. Uh, okay. Well, the four elements are assigned, but I guess you could join one of the teams. There won't be any danger on my path, though, so who else do you want to help? All three. Uh, you did what now? What? This guy's good. No way. Okay, Valir, now say Kukar. Hmm. Kukar? Oh, that is. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Whoa. Pretty cool, huh? All right, Zale. I'll see you over at Kill Mountain once we have everything. Stay safe, Garl. You bet. <coughs> I'm all right. Don't worry. Extol. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so amazing. The Skyland is west of the village. Lead the way. Do we... Yo, Rashawn is so cool. Are you kidding me? 
And Garl, Garl, you're Garl, you Garl, I can't. Oh my God, Garl is the best character. Like, he's just so swell. All right, so I'm assuming he has everything. So he's gonna have, I wonder if we could like unequip stuff and like duplicate it if he split himself in three, you know what I mean? All right, so this is, oh, this is the entrance. This is where we came in. That is amazing. That is so cool. Y'all, this game just all the time just proceeds to be just incredible. I wonder if we use a camp here, if anything will happen. Nope, not really. I, the, and now Garl is like, knows exactly what to do because he got this vision from the Elder Mist and the whole game has been hinting at that. And we're going all the way back to Malcomood, the mole guy. That is, oh my God, that's so great. All right, this is where we couldn't get in because we didn't have the wind key, but now of course we do. <gasps> oh, we're finally gonna, Zephyr is in there, but we'll need something that can shatter the crystal. Let's explore a bit. Uh, finally, we'll get something to deal with that. Oh, the music here is so cool. Oh, eat up these real quick. What do we got? Braid zards. All right, well, we can beat them up. Ooh, that was cool. A little electric attack. All right, let's go ahead and boost. We'll boost with Roshan. All right, so it resisted, but at least it broke. 81 damage. All right, so they're weak to slashing. They resist. Oddly enough, they actually resist. I think we can probably just boost and finish it. Oh, close. Nice. 1,500 XP. Oh, we actually have to defeat these. Oh, and then we could do... Wait a minute. So we have... Oh, we can't actually blow on that. Oh, this is cool. All right, let's see. We got to light up... So we got to light up this one first. And then we can do this one because it'll take longer for the other one to blow. All right. This is awesome. Can we move? Yeah, we can't move any of those. Oh, it's like the, that's so cool. It's like the one we used underwater, but you know, uh, in the air. We're, we're doing like avatar stuff. All right, we gotta defeat this. Oh, okay, we weren't able to get a boost. All right, so actually it looks like, I don't think we've used Ebb. Let's see if we can. Ah, we were able to get, I, I was able to get the timing there. So it actually broke both locks, I believe. Oh, they do like little slingshots. What are these called? Sling rabbits. Oh, they're super cute. I like them. Uh, we're going to go ahead and switch to Zale, who's going to boost and then hit this to break the lock. And we'll use a Bance here. Yeah. Woohoo. Okay, they're smoking us. Let's go ahead and use a big sunball here. Uh, I'm actually unsure which one is using the lock. It's hard to tell. doesn't matter when you delete them all. These guys are really cool though. I actually, yeah, really interesting. Obviously we can rest right here too. Oh, I thought there was something back here. I got excited. There is a chest though. All right, we need something to allow us to get over there. Now, let's do a quick little rest here and we can continue on. This is so cool. Like the splitting up and tackling reminds me of some parts in Final Fantasy IX. Like there's just so many, ah, oh, this game is just delightful. So glad I, I get to play it, especially get to play it as a YouTube series. All right, looks like there's actually a bunch of stuff we can do here. Can't move anything. Oh, this is gonna be interesting because it looks like, how are we gonna do? So before we had to do both of the suns at the same time, Grab this chest, 
which has a cypress cork. We can go, oh no, ah, oh, darn. All right, so we can at least do this. And then this one. And then, boom. Easy puzzle. All right, so we got a cypress cork for, yeah, let's go. Oh my gosh, that's so much. Plus six attack, plus 10 magic attack. You'll love to see it for our for our uh, amazing, amazing out, uh, mortal alchemist here. Can we drop, oh, we can drop down here. All right, we don't have whatever goes in there though, still. Let's see if there's anything. Oh, rainbow catch. Hell yeah, what is that, 48? We also get another combo. Zale and Rashawn learned a combo skill conflagrate. Oh, baby. What do we, what do we, what do we, what do we, what do we do? Three, cost three, arcane and solar magic damage, multi hit. Uh, yeah. Sounds good to me. And the music, it just feels like, yeah, like we're on a mission. Let's go. Garl knows what we're doing. Garl sacrificing the day he has left to make sure that we can win. Ugh, good guy, Garl. All right, we're immediately going to go ahead and use that double boost here, and we'll go ahead and not ebb, we'll abeyance on... Uh, why don't we go ahead and abeyance on this sling rabbit? No idea how to do the timings on that, but that's okay. Woo! Pebble Arc. Oh, they attack three times. You have to get all of those. That's rough. All right, let's see if we can do a big sunball for a whole lot of damage. All right, we at least deleted that. Torblado. Oh, smokes, that's a lot of damage. All right, leave me alone. They're being mean. And that's going to be the end of those. Those guys can be a little bit tricky. 3,000 XP though. Yeah, those guys can be a little bit tricky. And they're, they're uh, it looks like they're, a lot of these are uh, like mandatory fights. Go ahead and heal since that's so cheap on our boy Zale. Come up here, we'll grab this. A triangular slab, which I think we could probably use on those other things that we saw. Go ahead and get a big boost here. Big boost on Zale and take it out, buddy. 134 damage with that big boost. Love to see that. Oh my God, this is so cool. So we can go ahead and grab another one. Hexagonal slab. I don't see any other items, so. So dope. Good thing our boy Rashan got that Cypress cork. Look at him fly. Looks so cool. All right, so surely we can use, there was something, was it over here? No. It looks like potentially we can use the triangular slab here. Oh, that will create something. Where was that other one that we saw though? Was that previously? Well, I'm sure that we'll be able to get back there. Oh, this is the way back. Great. Oh, so cool. Let's go ahead and rest. All right. And now we can grab this. Yeah. All right. But how do we... I think we probably just jump down. Oh, there we go. Perfect. We get an assassin's pin. Let's see what that is. Defense minus 20, but attack plus 10. Uh, I definitely don't think I want that on, not on, not on us anyways, not, not on, not on Zale. Uh, actually probably not on either of these characters, uh, believe it or not. All right, let's go up. That is so cool. Oh my God, this area reminds me of like, it's just so many different, this game is just incredible, y'all. Sky armor. 
This is what I like to see. Getting all the stuff feels both heavy and light. We get plus eight magic defense, plus four defense, uh, and it looks like only we can currently equip that. I'm sure Valir can as well, but she ain't here. Oh, we can jump down. Oh, well, hopefully that wasn't the worst thing to do. Another battle. Using a bance to break a couple of those locks and they'll hit us with a weaker Torblado. I mean, it still does a, met a ton of damage. And finish it off with Zale. Very easy enemies. They just kind of do a lot of damage. They take a lot of damage. They do a lot of damage. So I don't think we can get back up there. Probably shouldn't have jumped down right away, but that's okay. Well, I, I'm surely they'll allow us to go back. Ooh, okay. Oh my God, this is so cool. Yeah, see, there's stuff over there that we definitely need to go get. Apples and stuff. Oh, it looks like it will actually allow us to go back down here. And then this is where we jumped out. Okay. Oh, I wouldn't have been able to, I see. Nice. I the, the splitting up thing is just so cool. Like, yeah, it stinks that we don't get access to all of them right now, but like, you know, when you're this cool, does it matter? Okay, we can't go that way. We do have to defeat that. Let's go ahead and actually use, um, we'll just use healing light here just to make sure we're nice and healthy. Bam! All right, we got to defeat all of these. I think we could do that with, let's go ahead and actually use his dash strike here. Nice. And then Rashawn can probably kill all of these with a, an abeyance. Oh my gosh, nope. I definitely thought it would do enough damage. <laughs> oh, one of these days I'll figure out how to use Rashad better. And deleted. There we go. I love how they give us like berries and eggs. Like, mmm, delicious. I love these weird creatures' eggs. I like apples. All right, and then we can... Ah, easy peasy. I feel like we're probably gonna get jumped by more enemies, so maybe I should use, uh, like, one of our meals? Oh, well, actually, I don't see any enemies right here, so... Because we're out of MP on Zale. Let's go ahead and use this one first. There we go, nice and neat. Look at that, one didn't even, dude, I'm so good at puzzle solving. Go through here. Uh-oh, maybe I should have healed. See, this is what I mean. I'm a dumb, I'm a dumb bum. Actually, we can, can probably defeat this right now. All right, there we go, only one left. It's got four health. I think we could take this. That was a close, that was a close one. Woo, that was, that was a little bit spicy. Maybe shouldn't have, maybe should have played that a little bit better on my end, but that's okay. Can't always be amazing, you know? All right, let's see if that's where that one's gotta go. Actually looks like potentially. Oh, I see, I was thinking, it right, hits that one first and then we can do that, because that allows us to now climb up there. Is there any items or anything we can get? I don't see anything. Definitely need to use, I definitely need to heal here. Let's actually use a, I haven't really had to, we use a Bula base. perfect. I was gonna say, I haven't really had to use items to heal in a long time. And I don't really need to, like I could just use Rashawn, but that's okay. Grab this chest here that contains an Azura cape. For Rashan, they're giving us stuff now. That's for sure. Seemingly alive with dreamlike patterns. Plus seven defense. Plus six magic attack. Let's go, bud. Let's go, my guy. All right. Looks like we need to do this. And then we can use that one to reflect the other pole thing. Perfect. 
These are pretty easy ones. You just kind of have to... Oh, we have to go this way anyways? I guess I could have done that. So inefficient. All right, we're healed. I think we're okay. Uh-oh. Oh, you're, you sound cute, though. All right, we need to hit them with a sunball. Fortunately, we're not going to be able... Like, it's not going to be able to do enough damage, but... That's okay. And then uh, we're not going to be able to... Oops. See, I should be using... I should be using Rashawn's Ebb more, but uh, we'll abandon here for some extra damage. Oh, I got the timing on that. Uh, and then I, it's got 34 health. Yeah, I think we just hit it with some ball. Who cares? This one will attack once. Easy peasy. We'll just go ahead and attack it. Nice job. And it's got barely any health. Delicious. Oh, we're so close to leveling up. Only 6,000 XP left. It looks like we are about to get whatever is necessary to break that thing. Go ahead and pop this that way. Key item. And that means we can also break the one in the moorlands. Any idea what this is? Mm, a highly refined crystal. Its energy matches the one containing Zephyr. Hmm. Could it be used to break the other one? Without a doubt. But it won't budge. Hmm. So, if I extract the essence and frequency... Zale, do you have any magic item with a proper handle? Hmm. How about the coral hammer? Mm, let's see it. Here. This'll work. Thanks, Rashawn. We get the cobalt hammer. Oh my gosh. The coral hammer has been upgraded. You can now break blue crystals with it. Y'all. Nice. Hell yeah. Good thing Rashawn came with us or else we would be in trouble. All of all of Garl, Garl's hard work thrown away because we couldn't get a crystal out. We couldn't get a, a hammer thing. That is so dope. Uh oh. All right, dude, this game is so good. Yep, definitely gonna need to rest here. Go ahead and save as well in case we need to, I'm assuming, do a boss fight here against Zephyr when we release them. Oh my gosh, I love that animation of like jumping down. That is so cool. All right, folks. Rashawn, you ready? Cobalt Hammer. So, how do we capture wind? Leave it to me. Oh. That's it for us, then. Oh! I hope the others are okay. Well, I... okay. <laughs> I thought for sure. I just throw this pearl into the water where you fought Stormcaller. We get an immaculate pearl. And here's a little something for the fight. Best of luck. Sarai and Rashawn learned combo skill Arcane Barrage. This is, so now we get to play as Sarai and Rashawn, who does indeed keep the, oh my gosh, that is amazing. That, this game is so cool, dude. Uh, let's see that new skill we just got. It's a two, it takes two multiple arcane hits on a single target that also delays its turn. That 
is to, oh, you also, oh, can buy another azure cape if we wanted to for Sarai. Uh, obviously we're broke, so we're not gonna worry about that, but, oh my God, we get to control Sarai now. This is dope. This game is awesome. We must hurry to Hydra Lion. Yep, that's our goal for the scale there. That's the important thing here. Oh, this is literally where, this is where we fought. Wow. This is so cool. This is the final area of the Sea of Nightmare that we came to before Rashawn ever joined us, before we even reclaimed the Vespertine. Obviously we don't need to, we don't, we kind of just did that stuff. So I don't think we need to worry about that. So does this mean that we're gonna have to fight the, so we were, if you remember, the Hydra Lion was literally what Stormkeeper jumped on. Oh, this is so cool. Immaculate Pearl. Okay, here goes nothing. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm, this is amazing. I'm so glad we get to fight this. Oh, this is so cool. All right, well, I think we need to use, uh, we could use phase shiv here for some big damage. Or we could use Venom Flurry. I think we just use Phase Shiv for some big damage right out of the gate. Oops. Uh oh. All right, so its tail is here. Its tail has 210 health. I'm thinking it wants us to actually hit the tail here, doesn't it? I feel like if we hit. Yeah, I think it wants us to hit the tail. All right, well, we were actually able to hit. Hmm. Let's go ahead and break the lock. Tail active counter with, oh shoot, that's some damage. Okay. All right, so we gotta take care of the tail. Oh, but that doesn't count as doing, that's interesting. Uh, now we can actually boost here and break this lock. It will do, it will counter attack again, I believe. Tail active counter whip. Yeah, it's probably less damage though than the. There we go. Goodbye, tail. All right, we have two boost. Let's go ahead and actually we can use. Let's attack once. And then Sarai is going to use triple boost, and we will do combo arcane barrage. Or should we wait until it has a lock going? Ooh, I don't know. I think we should maybe wait until it has a lock. So let's uh, just attack. 110 damage. Oh, nice. It uses like a little different. All right, let's heal here with Petrachor. 69 healing, nice. And attack for some boost. Oops. Damn, tail's active. All right. Uh, shoot. That is not great. Well, this is when we use, this is just when we use the combo. So we'll do that and then we'll combo Arcane Barrage. And yes. Press X to kick. Oh, that is so cool. All right, we're gonna need to Venom Flurry though, for sure. All right, so it's gonna, it, okay. It's gonna whip us again and it's gonna whip us good. Uh, we have to, we have to break 
We have to break that lock. All right, we could use her ultimate, but I don't think that's a good idea. I think we just break the lock. Actually, what we could have done, ah, it's all right. Even, oh, even better idea. Okay, we boost with Rashawn and then we use his ultimate because his ultimate is obviously just way better. No offense, no offense, Sarai. Oh yeah, defeated the tail. Got a delay and a full heal. Let's go. Beat it up, dude. Beat it up. Big three combo. And then we use Arcane Barrage on just the Hydra Lion. And there it is. Defeated. 7,000 XP. That'll level us up. Hydra Lion gets taken down. Remember, Garl said not to kill it, though. Just to get a scale. Oh, I don't know what we want to give... I don't really need to give her... Ah, jeez, I don't know. Let's just give her health, man. Her health is fairly low. Zale, my guy, unfortunately doesn't have any MP or anything. So I think we're just going to give him health as well since his is so low. Garl! See, they're still giving us level ups for Garl. He'll survive. He's going to he's gonna make it. Yeah, we'll just make him, just give him all the health, dude. Valir is going to take MP, of course, bringing her total to 20. That's huge. And unfortunately, Rashan doesn't get that, but we're going to go ahead and give him magic attack. So he now has 88 magic attack. That is, he's cruising. Carl was right. This scale will produce magic dew. Let's go back to Mirth. Time for the Great Harvest. I love how they're tying back, they're they're tying back everything that we've done. The Coral Hammer, the the Malkamud, uh, Mirth in the Villagers, uh, the Sea of Nightmare, like everything has, is, ah, oh, it's so cool. And what are the shafts for? Ah, oh, there's gonna be a whole lot of wheat. But you see, if we just drop it all in there, it should get ground up on its way down and leave us with flour at the bottom. Grinding on volcanic stone? Yep, we're feeding a fire breather here. It is a big challenge. I don't know if I can do this. But I will try for you. Thanks, Malcolmud. That's all I ask. So we go now. Yeah, Valir will have cleared the volcano by the time we get there. Will she have? Because we haven't played as Valir and Rashan yet. Oh, there, there they are. The volcano's been opened. Now to clear the place so Garl and Malkamud can build their thing. I'm right behind you. Ah, uh, yeah. We've actually been here because we were doing a little backtracky thing. So grab these mushrooms. We do have a save point and another campfire if we so choose. We don't need to rest, though, because I think we're... Oh, wait, we're actually... <laughs> we do need to rest. We're a little bit low because we just leveled up. And we'll go ahead and save as well, because this is going to be, I'm sure, a little bit of a challenge. I knew we were going to go to this volcano. Waiting for the beat to drop. Yeah. Look at the heat effect. I love that Valir's the one going to a volcano, too. Firecracker. Are they they reduce they hmm. They are not as weak to arcane and moon. Hmm. Where are you going? Oh that is that was cool. Alright, so the Oh they oh it blew up! All right, they don't do a lot of damage, but 
And then they're going to... Huh. Those are, those are weird enemies. Well, either way, I mean, we still got XP though from them defeating themselves, right? Oh, this is so, uh, y'all, I, I say it every episode. My gosh, definitely feels though like we are getting towards the end of this game. I tell you what, I'm a little bit worried about it because this game, oh no, I want that. Oh, we gotta go back up. We gotta, we gotta get that stuff. This game is just exquisitely good, y'all. I'm curious if uh, y'all have had the chance to play it yourselves yet. Let me know in the comments. An igneous staff. Let's go. Made from hardened magma. Plus seven attack, plus six magic attack. Making her... She is... She's now tied with Rashan's magic attack. And her, her attack is tied with it. Looks like we can go... Okay, cool. I think we got all the items there that we could get. Obviously, we're going to give that to Valir so that she can be a, just a powerhouse. All right, looks like we actually... Oh, that's fun. I see. I haven't done one of these in a while. Oh, wait. This is even... This is... Oh, that's cooler. Oh, that was dope. We could jump down. Gotta grab shrooms. Oh, a new enemy. We have Big Buggy and Firecrackers. Well, what do we want to do here then? I think we're going to do a big boost and then do uh, Moonering. They're weak, these Big Buggies, which look like Big Daddies, and I think they're supposed to from Bioshock. So cool. All right, they're going to do the Kamikaze thing. Nice. Oops, mistimed that. 100, 102. Can we do 102 damage to him? I don't think so. Let's go ahead and heal here. See what this thing does. Oh, that's, oh, that's so cool. Yeah, they fight like big daddies, they do. Oh, not enough to kill it, though. I thought for sure that would. Tectonics. Well, we just wanted we wanted to see what it did anyways. Combo, arcane moons. We could do it. Have we done that before? I mean, we don't need to, so it's fine. 700. So those barely... Oh, maybe if the enemies do kamikaze, we don't actually get their XP. Yikes, I don't like that. And of course, we are going to have to fight a lava beast. We were pretty warned about that. Oh my god. Wait a minute. Can we just talk about... Oh, it looks so good. This whole section is just... I didn't really expect it. And I'm a big fan. Alright, we're gonna do a boost and then Moon Ring. There we go. I don't know if I would recommend getting XP now when it's just the, you know, just the two of you split up. Oh my God, this is, this is awesome. Uh-oh. Let's go ahead and save just in case and continue on. Can we go this way? Not yet. What are these? Hmm. Okay, we can't cross those. Oh, we can actually go around. Drop down here. Can't do anything there there yet. We found another boulder. Can we... Maybe we can blow that? Oh. Nice. We get another rainbow conch. I believe that brings us up to about 49. Then we can use this to break a bunch of the spikes. That is awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. 
This is so, what a cool little puzzle. Indiana Jones would be so jealous at our boulder handling skills, you know? Oh, no. Oh, I actually wanted to do... Oh, actually, I, I made just enough room. Let's find out what we get in this chest. I could use some money. Volcanic armor. That's new. Great protection for those who can bear the weight. Plus six defense, plus five magic defense. I'm glad I didn't give... I didn't wait to give the other armor to... Uh... That's great. We're going to see about using... We're just going to use that real quick. That is so cool. They're giving us a lot of... It feels like they're giving us a lot of armor and weapons now. Uh, which, you know, makes me a little nervous. I guess we just attack. Alright, we were able to get the kill there. So it looks like if you attack them, that's when they start to get the thing over their head. All right, so this one's going to kamikaze. Yeah, 720 XP if you kill. Not the greatest enemies to fight. Continue on and hope that we don't get into a boss fight here. Mushrooms. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. All right, we're gonna. Ooh, I don't know. Let's um, yeah, let's lunar shields. There we go. Defeated them all. We got some bones for that. Looks like we have some blocks to push. Let's go ahead and we'll use this to heal. Oh, we can't. I need 12 MP. We'll just go ahead and pop one of those. So it looks like here we actually just need to push these across, maybe. Create. Yeah, all right. That's pretty easy. I thought this was going to be a puzzle, but it's not. It's not a puzzle. That's not a puzzle at all. There's nothing over here, right? Just double check it. Just double jump. Look at me like that. Uh oh. Let me go. Can't do anything here yet, but I have a feeling soon. Hmm. Oh, it looked like there was maybe something there. Where are you going? Someone's leading us. It's gonna jump us. Okay, it looks like we can't do anything over here. I'm just checking. You never know. I know you're gonna jump us. Where are you? Oh, shoot. Whoa. And boom. See ya. When I wanna be ya. Yeah, it looks like each enemy here gives 720 XP. Uh, looks like we need to go push this this way. Wait a minute. Oh, we can go in there. That's cool. We got a magic pocket. What does that do? The first item used during a round won't spend the character's turn. First item used during a round. During a round. What do they what do they mean by that out of curiosity? So push that. Oh! Oh, that is. That is awesome. That is so cool. This game is so cool. Alright, let's that I knew. Well, there we go. Uh I don't know if we're gonna use that, but more turns doesn't sound like a bad thing. I feel like maybe we should save before i don't know man you being able so it's probably spirit of ninja is probably better eye of yamara is probably not really we're, we're probably gonna have a boss fight here so let's just use the magic pocket for now all right we're good i'm i'm just we're we know we have to fight the lava the lava monster here oh whoa what are you do what are you doing here friend Carl was just at our outpost and mentioned you'd be coming. I came after grabbing what I could. You need anything? No. What? Look at, look at, dude. He's not even with us and he's already, 
We'll sell one of those Oaken Armors. He's not even here and he's still looking out for us. Good guy freaking Garl, dude. And we, of course, are, we're definitely gonna use... I wonder if we set up camp if they say anything. Take heart, Valir. Your friend's time isn't up just yet. Well, let's cook some stuff first. We're gonna make a couple crustads. It is worth mentioning that we do, for trophies, need to make everything eventually. So, keep that in mind. I think we've made everything so far. And we'll save too, because you just know it. We're coming up on a boss. Let's do it. I don't see anything. All right. Here we go. Rashawn, are you ready? Boss time. I'm, I'm, it's gotta be. Oh, I think I saw it. This is our target? Yes. Oh, what are... Hello? It will be vulnerable to your lunar magic. Good. What is your Toad Kano? You look like a really cool Pokemon. I love you. So there, it's gonna be weak to our lunar magic, huh? Well, we can maybe start building up our boost or I don't think we should use, let's just see what he does. Let's hit it with, it's one target. Let's hit it with a moon ring because typically that's a little bit easier to do. 226 damage from that. Oh, and it summons enemies. Oh, shoot. Oh, well, yeah, actually. Oh, nice. Uh, I don't actually think I care about these enemies. These are the firecrackers, so they're going to kamikaze on me. Nice. Good job, Rashawn. Well, this is a little bit of a, this is a little bit more of a problem. I think we grab a boost here. 68 damage and then hopefully Rashant can use we can hit it with ebb damn missed the timing though tremor oh it hits its own that's interesting. All right, here comes Kamikaze. Yeah, so we don't need to worry about those. Not too bad. I think we just combo Arcane Moons. Why not? Yes! 89 damage. That actually doesn't do that much, but... And I think we patch Rakor here, get some health, uh, some health back. All right, what do we do here, though? This is going to be a bit of a problem. We need to attack to, or actually, then hopefully Rashawn gets a turn. And he will for sure. We'll grab the boost and then maybe. All right, not enough to break both, but oh, it's still got 100% power on this. All right, that does do a lot of damage, but that's okay. Here comes the Kamikaze. And I think what we do is use Crescent Arc here. Actually, uh... We can, no, oh, I can't use that. Uh, Abeyance? Doesn't pull that other guy, but that's okay, because he's gonna Kamikaze. And then she can actually just use Crescent Arc. Break, break the lock, and then we can combo Arcane Moons again. I don't really need to do that. I think we just attack here. Actually, we can use a free item uh, and use a Crestat. And then he gets to go again. Toad Kano. At least that block, like it doesn't have that many moves. Pretty easy to actually defeat this thing, I think. I think we just go for, 
And Moonering. Trying to build that combo meter, though, because that is going to be real good for Rashawn using the ultimate. 196. Oh, no, four of them. Uh-oh. All right, combo, arcane moons. Yeah, I think we have to. This is not good. All right, they're all going to attack right now. That's okay, though, because we're going to be able to ult we're going to be able to use Rashawn's ultimate after this. We can use combo arcane moons again. It looks like it's getting defeated. And skills ultimate. I bet you. Let's finish it. This is going to be the end of the fight. You ready? Great eagle from Rashad. Oh, I can't wait to know the story impact of that, man. Fight fire with Lunar. Goodbye, Toad Kano. 8,000 XP. Thanks for the help, Rashawn. Naturally. Now to wait for the others. And so we must come together for his final wish. For Garl. For Garl! For Garl! For Garl! For Garl. Stop it. There's no way they're going to kill him. There's no way. Great job, everyone. That there hold be full to the brim. A valiant effort. It's time to set sail all aboard. Wait for me. Totally. In the face on Zale, too. <laughs> Garl, do you think? Zale! So, you got Zephyr? Right here. How about Malcomood? He's still working on it. We'll need time anyway. Lots of crops in the Vespertine. Right, let's all go and... <coughs> Garl. I'm okay, Valir. Just need a moment here. Ugh. Take it easy, okay? We'll carry the crops. But... You're right. That's probably best. I'll take care of it. You spend some time with your friend. I... Thank you, Sarai. one way to <coughs> take it easy Garl wow this really hurts I hope I'll be able to we're with you no matter what uh, we didn't come this far for nothing I'll see this through I think I have finished yeah are, are you happy with the result? Uh, why do you ask? I did it for you. Well, are you happy you did it for me? Yeah, but I hope you like. I'm sure he will, Malcomood. I remember you. Uh, you can look too. Yeah. Yes, yeah. 
so the crops go up there, chuck them in. Flour fills up here for mixing. After a little kneading, bring it up there, knead some more, let it sit with the heat, and... Good job, Malcomoot, it's perfect. I only follow your plan. Guys, this is gonna be huge. Can we help? Of course. Malcomood, time for the heat. Perfection. Now we let it bake. And it comes and goes. Like right now, I feel just fine. Let's just share more memories, okay? It's all I want. Oh, I know. <laughs> Remember when I brought you cookies while you were at the academy? Yeah, you never told us how you managed to make the flying platform move. With a monocle. Huh? Was it a magic monocle? Oh, no. I used it to focus sunlight directly onto the rune. It made sense, so I just went for it and it worked. The beam wasn't very strong, though. That must have taken hours. Sure did. Eight, in fact. <laughs> no way. Yup. Well, eight hours of sunlight, to be exact. That's excluding the night I spent halfway up in the air. How did you not get caught? Oh, I got caught, but I was already out of reach by the time Gran saw me. I wish I could have seen her face. Believe me, I wish I hadn't. <laughs> and then... <coughs> Girl! I'm... I think my time is almost up. Don't say that. I have to. Uh, I have to finish this. Valir, please tell Malcomu to cut the lava flow. Uh, uh, Zale, I need Zephyr now. Here. Uh, I hope... This works. unprecedented act of goodness and generosity. Through your creation, the elements have soothed my long tormented soul. Hey, any time. It's just bread, really. This marks a new beginning for me. If it's not too much to ask, would you be willing to give me a new name? I... Sure. 
<clears throat> I still have a bit of time. I can do this. Okay, so, uh, what are your ambitions? My past was one of anger and destruction, but you have shown me the way to a higher power. I wish to honor your memory by becoming a devoted caterer. Uh, that's so nice of you to say. <coughs> so, uh, a butler, huh? How about Sinclair? Nah, hold on. Oh, I know! Uh, for this new life, I shall name you Wentworth. Wentworth? Once again, I thank you. Never have I encountered such a caring soul. I understand your time is almost up. Is there anything I can do to repay your kindness? There's one thing, yeah. For my final journey, I'd like to fly on your back with my friends. It would be my honor and privilege. And please, take us to Moon Cradle. I want to be buried under the Celestial Willow. Garl? So we got to fly for a second time. That's pretty neat, huh? You should save your energy, Garl. I'm okay. It doesn't hurt anymore. I'm just really sleepy. We'll be with you until the end. I know. I'm so lucky. Hey, promise me one thing. Anything. I want you to use this gift. You'll travel across the sea of stars, whatever that is. We'll do it. For you. I mean, someone has to kick Erlina's butt and teach the Fleshmancer a lesson. Might as well be you, right? We'll go and do that, don't worry. Oh, and you'll keep cooking too, right? Use what I taught you? Every day. We'll miss you so much. Sail. Valir. I can't thank you enough. For everything. All those moments together. All the adventures. I couldn't have asked for better friends. I... I'm not, you're crying. I'm not crying. You gathered here today to honor Garl, the warrior cook. Born in Moon Cradle, he chose a life of adventure and accomplished many deeds. From fighting alongside solstice warriors, to founding the peaceful town of Mirth. He even managed to soothe the sleeper. Yeah, you surely showed him in the end, son. Good work. Like a true pirate chef. This adventure won't be the same without you, pal. May he be remembered for his warm heart, his bravery, and his unrelenting smile. May he be remembered. Earl, you really were the best of us. We miss you so much already. The world will hear the stories of your deeds for generations to come. This is my vow. Thank you for teaching me, Master Garl. 
glad you like the kill. been a couple of weeks. Are we leaving anytime soon, Captain? We're giving we're giving Zale and Valir as much time as they need. I must hurt something awful. Their bond was a special one. Sure would hurt something fierce to lose one of our own. But you're right. Their friendship was something else. So, Captain? Any ideas for our next adventure? Yes. The time has come. Captain? Oh, how exciting! Still can't believe he spent all that time on the platform with just a monocle and a cookie jar. <laughs> sure was a loyal friend. The best. Valir, I think I'm ready. I've been thinking about our Alina. No matter what kind of fleshmancer monster she's become, we have to defeat her. Wherever she is. Garl sure held up his end of the bargain. The Sky Giant's council will let us through, I suppose. Across the Sea of Stars. Whatever that means. For Garl, then? For Garl. With innocence lost and purpose reaffirmed, the powers of Solon and Luana start to awaken within Zael and Valir. Zael learns the ultimate attack, Solon's Light Salvation. Valir learns the ultimate attack, Luana's Might, Retribution. So, y'all ready to avenge your friend? We are. <laughs> 